It wasn't actually that long ago. A lot of us who are around now lived through these events. We didn't necessarily understand what we were seeing on our TV sets. We didn't understand how the things that happened would continue to define the world we live in today. Our world is defined by the failure of communism, by the rise of market economics, and by the power of politicized religion. 1979 was the moment when all of these forces came together. 1979 was the year that the Iranian revolution toppled the Shah and brought forth a new Islamic Republic led by Ayatollah Khomeini. The Soviet Union launched its invasion of Afghanistan against a revolt by Islamic holy warriors. The first non-Italian pope in almost 500 years, John Paul II, visited Poland for the first time as pope. His visit behind the Iron Curtain triggered a campaign of non-violent resistance that created the Solidarność movement in Poland and ultimately helped to bring down communism in Eastern Europe. In Great Britain, Margaret Thatcher was elected the new prime minister, ushering in a new era of conservative politics and free market economics that soon spread all over the world. 1979 was also the year when the new Chinese leader Deng Xiaoping launched the new economic reforms that returned his country to superpower status. The radical changes they initiated crystallized into upheavals in religion, economy and politics no. 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 and set the course for global paradigm shifts that dominate the world until today. Iran remains under the control of the people who led its revolution. Today's capitalist China is light years away from the society that confronted Deng when he became leader. The Muslim world is still contending with the effects of the siege in Mecca, Saddam Hussein's power shift in Iraq, of the war in Afghanistan, and the radical political Islam that spawned from it. Communism is dead. Markets reign. If you want to understand where this world came from, there's one year you need to know about.